Hello YouTube, this is Troy Borg. I'm going to be doing a tutorial today for you guys. Uh, I've, as you probably noticed on my Guild Wars 2 videos, I have actually st stated that I have been playing that using a game controller. An Xbox 360 controller to be exact. You can use PlayStation 2 controllers and stuff, or PlayStation 3 controllers. I will talk more about that later. But, for right now, I will show you how to set it up so that it will actually work properly and move how you would think it would move. First thing, I use a program called XPatter, which, let me go ahead and load that up and bring it over so you can see it. This is my actual Guild Wars 2 layout that I use, but first let me just show you how I program that. Let me create, oopsie, let me create a new layout. For the left stick, we want, I'm going to make that WASD, and for the right stick, let's actually make it simulate a mouse movement, mouse normal, but the default settings just seems like it moves way too quickly. So I found, get that out of the way, I found that setting the settings to look camera, setting the left and right speed to 45 and leaving and putting slowing the up and down movement down to 30 seems to make a more feel, uh, correct feeling movement for me at least now then you may be wondering you know this can work for more than just guild wars like here let me go ahead and grab my controller and look, if I move the stick up, I'm moving the mouse around the screen, as you can see. Or, you know, you can do other stuff. But, let's see. For the buttons, face buttons, you know, I can program it. Like, let's say I want to make A, you know, you could have it simulate 1. You could have B simulate 2. You could have Y simulate 3. You, know, you could have X. For me, I like that to be the uh, dodge button, which I think I have my dodge button set as X. Start. I like to actually have that be the map. Oh, sorry, no. I like start to be the pick up item, which is F. And I like the back button to be map. And then for, I like the left bumper before, the right bumper be 5. I'll make it that when you hold down the left trigger, it will actually, using the set selector, you can have it, while held, it will go to set number two. Which then on set number two, I could, let's see, actually, isn't five, I think, yeah, I could make on page two, I could have, you know, let's say this be six, and, you know, that be seven and you know whatever however you want to program it you can set it up however you want you know there you can do like that and you can make it that you know up on the d-pad would open your inventory or you know left in the d-pad would open the hero plane or you could customize it however you want I'm gonna switch it to mine I do not want to save that oh yeah another thing is I had it set up for controlling the camera versus controlling the mouse you could set it, let me clear that out just so you can show how I did that I'm going to make it that for the assignment I'm going to make it a toggle for the right mouse button which makes it so that when you so now if you see how I move it around it works if I click it in now you see it's actually simulating holding down the right mouse button which would be con for controlling your camera since I'm on Windows you'll see if I move it around I'm actually doing that selection box you know I have looks like I had mine set up where yeah six is the heal button so when I click in my left stick I will heal you know, this is auto run. Oh yeah, left and right, you can have tab and shift tab for left and right tab targeting. I had down set up as my switch weapon button. Map, pick up, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, right trigger was jump. 
and then on page two, you know, I had WASD still. I had clicking in the left stick simulate the left mouse button. I had this as, you know, inventory, hero. I can't remember what those two were. And then I also had clicking in the right stick to activate your rage meter. You know, my other friend, as I was saying, you know, you don't have to only use, you know, like my friend who uses his PS2 controller, he has a totally different layout than I do. His layout looks like this. He has his one on there, two there, three there, four there. He uses for his movement, you know, W, S, and then he strafes left and strafes right on his right pad. And for his camera movement, instead of having him toggle it, he had it set up where it simulates. Let me show you how to do that. He has his simulate that on here that it simulates a right mouse button click and moving the mouse button up at the same time. That's how he has his programmed. In case you're wondering what these things here mean. So he has his set up that up moves up, down moves down, that moving it left actually moves it right because the game does not allow you to invert the x-axis in game. It does let you, if you want to, you can invert or however you like it, you know, and then he has it looks set up that when you hit his uh, L1, I guess, that it switches over to this other page. So then this page controls his camera. He still has, you know, what's the up on his D-pad is his rage thing. Down his map, left and right is tab targeting. He has, what's he pick up, clicking in the right stick. He has five on start, six on select he has run on his right bumper he has sorry uh, R, R1 and he has his jump button on R2 kind of like me I had it on the right trigger he has his on his R2 and then on this page looks like he has his uh, hero uh, elite skill so he would have to press his you know L1 and then he could press start and activate that so, just to show you, you can actually create for other stuff. Like, I even programmed it so I could play the game Happy Wheels using my controller. Or, here's my controller layout that I used for Final Fantasy uh, 14. I even had a second one here. This one here is actually my browsing the internet preset. So, I actually have it set up here. Let me open up a website. I just go ahead and go to let's go to IGN um, whatever open IGN please apparently I don't have it as the RSS feed IGN IGN you can see I move the right stick around let me see that move that up so you can see you know moving the left stick around moves it around you know up and down would actually scroll up and down the page You know, up and down on the D-pad, we'd go page by page, you know, doing page up and page down. I can do something where hitting the back button will go back to the previous page. The start button go to the current page. You know, Y will refresh the page. B will stop the page from loading. Clicking the A button will simulate uh, left clicking on it. You know, and stuff like that. So, or, or I can go ahead and close that so you can do whatever you know a lot of stuff with this program it's pretty ma you know, pretty crazy I'm gonna go ahead and start up into a game so you can see I'm just gonna choose my Guild Wars 2 layout for this and I will see you back in a game okay I'm back inside of Guild Wars 1 with my layout, you can see moving my right stick around, I am moving the camera around. If I move my left stick, you'll see that I am running around. You know, swinging it to the left, swinging it to the right, walking forwards, walking backwards. 
Yeah, I can click in the right stick so I lock the camera. Now see, I can swing the camera around. Walk around. You know, I could... Oh yeah, you can't jump in this one. Just walking around, you can see how it works. Let's go ahead and run out of Lion's Arch. Okay. Sometimes when you go through zones, you gotta re-click in, like, the re-toggle the camera movement so it works. You can see that I just tab target it onto that dog. See? Tab targeting. Left and right on the D-pad. Hit one. Two. Hit three. Oops, I hit the bat. Four. Left bumper. Right bumper. Left trigger A. Left trigger B. Left trigger. Oops. I was just hitting buttons there just to show. Keep on going. I can be running here right now with my my hand is on the stick, and I'm just tapping right bumper. I mean not right bumper, uh, right on the D-pad just to target trying to find monsters. Go over here, find this fire imp. Get back here, fire imp. Get back here. See, so I can press. You know, I'm pressing the A button, the B button. Y button, left bumper, right bumper, you can see they work. So yeah, just to show you that that does work. You can do it in other games. Here, let me go ahead and boot up Minecraft just to show you that it does work with Minecraft as well. There we go. Okay, and I'm back. Now I'm inside Minecraft. As you can see, looking left and right and moving up and down still works with the right stick. Walking forwards and backwards and left and right still works with the left stick. My camera is not inverted, so whenever I press down, I end up looking down, which is driving me crazy because I play with my Y inverted. The people that don't play with it inverted, I don't know how the heck you can do it. It's weird. But just to show you, I can go ahead and punch a block. I can pick it up. I can still place it. You know, pressing, you know, on the controller, you know, A would be toggling one, this would be toggling two, three, four, five. You can see it still works, no problem. So, yeah, now back to the screen recording. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, you know, this program is pretty, uh, it's pretty crazy. It's awesome. I love it. Let me reload my controller profile. If you're wondering how you set up the controller profile when you do a new controller, it allows you to, let me go ahead and open my image that I downloaded off their website. You can go ahead and tell it, okay, for sticks, enable the left stick, push left on the left stick and push up on the left stick. Now place it where it actually is, enable the other stick, push left on that and up on that and now put that in place. The D-pad, enable that. You press up on the D-pad, you press down on the D-pad, press left on the D-pad, press right on the D-pad. Now you place that where that goes. Buttons, you need to press A, place that where that goes. B, put that where that goes. Y, hit that where that goes. X, place that where that goes. Start, place that there. Back, place it there. See, so clicking in the left stick is there. Clicking in the right stick is there. Now for triggers, enable the triggers. Left trigger, right trigger. Perfect. And there you go. That's how you would set those up. I didn't get it perfectly lined up, as you can see. So let me go ahead and reopen my other one. That was just a quick tutorial on how to assign those. Shush. Okay. There is other programs I use, like I said, I use XPatter. I have heard another one called JoyDeKey that does the same thing. I do have a, I think an older version of this, but I am using the, 
am using version 5.7. It works. I haven't found a need if there is a new version to update it. I think there is like two different versions of it. There's like a basic version and like a paid version. I think the paid, the, the free version doesn't have some of the options like under those advanced options like these, something like that. I know it doesn't have some of the, one of these things that it doesn't have. So you may have to go ahead and pick up the paid version of it, but it is pretty amazing. My friend actually played through Star Wars The Old Republic. I played through it using my uh, Razer Naga and stuff, but my other friend played through using his PS2 controller. He went from level 1 to level 50 on his Bounty Hunter, no problem. He was doing, you know, he was healing me, he was healing my companion, he was healing his companion, he was, you know, telling his companion to do stuff, you know, he was controlling the battlefield way better than I was doing but yeah so hopefully this tutorial was helpful i leave a message leave a comment subscribe all that stuff